Hi everyone, my name is Michaela, and I went to around 30 different yard sales recently all in one weekend. So I live in Arkansas and here we have this statewide yard sale thing, community thing that you whatever you want to call it. It's called Bargains Galore on 64. So it is a hundred and sixty miles of yard sales all along Highway 64. So you can go for the whole 160 miles or you can just stay in your area. So for this year, we just stayed in our area where we were shopping and we found so many good things at some amazingly low prices. I am so excited to show you what I bought. So if you want to see everything that I picked up yard selling, then let's just get going. So I want to start off with something unique. It is these lace gloves. These are white. Um, like a bright white and they just make me think of like something that would go with a vintage outfit look how pretty they are oh my goodness i wish it was still common to wear gloves and stuff like this in everyday life with your outfits oh i would just be all about that and the pretty hats and everything i just think all of that is so beautiful but i thought i could easily decorate with these and sometimes for fun i can try them on i got those for 50 cents then I found this book. It says Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child, Luzette, Bert Hall, and Simone Beck. So I'm guessing it's about cooking, but I'm going to use it for decorating. I just think it looks really pretty and cottagey slash vintage. So I was excited to get this. This was only a dollar, which is a really good price for a nice hardback book. I then got this vase with these flowers in it on the top, these flowers in this greenery. This was $3 and it is a very heavy quality vase. It has brown leaves and then this cream color and a darker brown on top. It matches the colors in my house really well. I don't know that I'll keep this floral arrangement. I tried it on my coffee table, but I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it. I am really having to figure out my style when it comes to decorating just because I used to decorate more in the farmhouse look and I kind of switched over to the more Victorian slash cottage look, you know, mixed with antiques and old stuff because I love antiques and old things. So um, since I'm switching my decor style, it is definitely a learning curve for me right now, but that's okay. I'm just getting to play with it and have fun. I then found this metal pair. Um, it has a hole in the bottom, so I'm assuming that you could put a candle in here and I like this for year-round decorating, but it being a pair, it would be really great for fall decor. So I love the darker, more vintage brass color of it. I just think it's unique looking, and I believe this was $2, so that's not too bad for that. I then found this little glass, maybe it's a vase or maybe it's meant to hold something, I'm not sure, but it was really cheap too. I believe it was like $0.25, cents, so great price. I thought about just putting a single flower in here. Um, next year when a lot of my plants have gotten bigger, they will be putting off some flowers and I will be able to put some in here and that will be so exciting to see that. So we are planning a whole design for my husband's home office. He's doing a very sportsman style, um, you know, with like hunting and fishing and um, he likes World War II stuff, so military things. Um, and we found a few things for his office. This is a train. It's one of those vintage Avon cologne holders. Um, and this was actually still in the box. So it's glass and it was only 50 cents. By the time we had got to this lady's particular yard sale, it was the last day of like the community sale. And she was just wanting to get rid of stuff. So she kept saying, um, I'll, I'll do it really cheap. Everything we found, she was just like, I'll do it cheaper than that, than, you know, what the price was on it. So she was like, I don't want to take all this stuff back home. So he also got this one. This is another one of those Avon containers. This one is just an older truck. And this one was also still in the box, but it's so, it's so unique looking and it fits in with what he wants to do in his office. He also found these small little uh, kind of, I think they may be clay, clay trucks or I don't know. But anyways, he got three of those. These were 25 cents each. 
and they will look good on a shelf styling. This next piece is a picture of horses. This was $2. Um, it looks like about an 8x10 size, but it's metal. Um, I love horses so much. I have had horses since I was about 6 or 7 years old. And um, I don't have any now. My horse unfortunately passed away at the beginning of this year. Um, so I'm not going to get any more for a while. But it was a big part of my childhood. And I still love them very, very much. And I loved the colors of this while also combining one of my favorite animals. I then found these vintage frames. It's this heart one here with this older antique brass color and this one here that's also a heart but it's a square shape on the outside. These were a dollar each and they look so nice together. I'll have to either do like a family photo or get one of those uh, digital prints that you can find online and print it off and I can stick those in here. I just really love the more aged look of these. They say they are from Russ Berry and Company. I'm not familiar with that at all. I don't know if they're actually old. Judging from the sticker, I don't think they are, but if you know something, you can share it with me in the comments and let me know. This picture here is also for my husband's office. It is just some ducks or some geese in this brown wood vintage frame. And this was only a dollar, so it's a really, really good price, and it fits in with that sportsman theme. I think it's a really pretty picture. If he wasn't going to use this in his office, I would definitely put it somewhere in my house because I also like ducks and geese as well. When it comes in these more natural colors, I think they are super pretty. I then found this brass picture frame. It has like this lady, I think, and she's doing a whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, I probably will just use this to lean up against something, maybe in a hutch or on a shelf, and then I'll put something in front of it. But it is actually pretty heavy, so it's a nice quality brass, and I am so excited to decorate with this. It has this little design up here. I just think that's really pretty, and I believe this was like 25 cents. It was really affordable. Love the colors of that. I then found this basket. Um, I think this was $2. So it's a pretty good size basket. It has a handle on it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. And this will just be great for organizing or decorating. It can go either way or it could be multi-purpose. I could organize something in it and it look pretty. <laughs> I love finding baskets um, at yard sales and thrift stores and things like that because those can actually be kind of expensive when you buy them new. So I love finding them secondhand so that I can save a little bit of money. I then found this vintage gold frame. This looks like an 8x10 size. It has a really nice design around the edge. This fits in with that Victorian look that I really want to kind of take in my home. Um, I'm trying to get there, trying to figure it out, but I really love Victorian style. And I just think this fits in with that so nicely, especially if I get a really pretty print to put inside of it, it'll just kind of enhance it even more. This was only a dollar, so really affordable. And then I found, oops, breaking stuff. So I found some more baskets. These are just some small ones. This one has an interesting um, color scheme and design here in the middle. Um, it's smaller, but this would be great for an entry table, or you could even like have one of those basket gallery walls. Um, I think that would be really neat. So I got this little one, and then I got this one here. It has, it's a, it has like a looser feel to it, so you could kind of shape it and mold it to what you want. But I really like these. I believe those were a dollar a piece, which is a really good price for baskets. I then got these little things. These were $2 each. These have something to do with electrical. I can't remember what they're called, but they do have something to do with um, electrical lines. And these are actually dated. So this one here says made in USA. And then it says Heming Ray. 16 so I don't know if that means 1916 or not but I got that one and then this one here says um, Ming 42 so that may mean this one is from 1942 I'm not positive but I just think these would look nice on a shelf to mix in with a lot of my other antiques and Sammy thinks he should come over here so <laughs> 
I'm trying to show that. You might. Um, then my husband got this mug. It has deer prints on it. Um, and he is a hunter. He loves hunting season. So he is going to use this in his office somewhere or maybe he'll drink coffee with it. I don't know. <laughs> but it was really cheap. I believe it was like 25 cents. And actually the print on it is very pretty. I actually do like it. But that'll look great for him. And then this is one of my actually, this is actually one of my favorite finds that we got. It was at a yard sale and these were $3. These are planters and look, they have books on the outside. So it has this big one and then there is a smaller one and it also has the little books all around it. Isn't that so cool? I have never seen planters like this before. And funny story, my husband, <laughs> we both see these at the same time. And I was like, oh my goodness, I love those. And I thought $3 for two planters, that's a really good price. Planters can be pretty expensive depending on the material that you get them in. So anyways, he was like, um, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna use those for my office, right? And I was like, mm -hmm. no, those are gonna go somewhere where I can see them more. But <laughs> anyways. You know, there's two. We can share. One for him and one for me. <laughs> and then I found this shelf. This was only a dollar. And this is pretty large. And I was actually looking for one of these. Um, I wanted something like this. So see, it has all these little slots when you hang it up on the wall. So I can put all, some of my little trinkets in here. <laughs> so a lot of my thrifted stuff, you know, I'm having to find furniture pieces and shelves to have places to put all of it. And my husband recently was asking me, he was like, what are you gonna do with all of this stuff? You know, like you have a lot. And I was like, yeah, I'll just get shelves and furniture to put it in. And then I can look at all of my pretty finds. <laughs> so this is one of those things that I really wanted to find. And then, what do you know, at a yard sale, I found one for only a dollar. And this is solid wood, it's decently heavy, so I feel like this was a really good price for such a nice shelf. I then found this really beautiful gold and black frame, and it has this print in it, which I actually think is kind of pretty. I won't even be changing the print out. This was $5. And it was definitely worth five. It is heavy. It feels like very, very good quality. And the yard sale that this was at was quite an interesting yard sale. They must have really been into like the jungle theme. They had, oh my goodness, like if you were into the jungle safari theme, you could have went to this yard sale and bought everything and your house would have been set. They had planters and massive art pieces and actually the prices weren't that bad but the jungle safari theme is not my style but i did think this was really pretty and this frame is just such nice quality i'm so excited to have found this for five dollars and you know what something that's fun about yard selling is sometimes even if you don't find something that you want for yourself you will come across the most interesting things and people that have the most interesting styles, just like this person. So it was fun to actually look at all the stuff at this sale and actually find something that I wanted. So this is another piece for my husband's office. I believe this is like a Jaguar or something. And this little piece here is broken, but it wasn't broken when we bought it. That's because somehow someone knocked it into something and I actually see the piece over here behind me, but we can glue it back on and fix it. This was only a dollar and he picked out this piece on his own. So this is something that he wanted and it is a really cool piece and it fits in with the theme for his office. I then got a set of vintage glassware. I got these two cups and I got two smaller ones and this design on these is so pretty. Um, this was at that same yard sale where the lady was saying like I'll give it all to you cheaper because I, want, I don't want to take it home. So I got these four for a dollar. So 25 cents each for some vintage glassware I feel like is a really good deal. I don't see any markings on these so I, I don't know if they're valuable or not but regardless I like them. And I think these will look really nice for fall decor as well. It kind of has that muted color, you know, that nature brings to us during fall time. So that will look really pretty to incorporate with all of the other things I have for fall. I then found this little tiny pitcher. It may be like a creamer thing, you know, for coffee. Um, this was 25 cents, so really, really affordable. 
again, I think this will fit in well with just incorporating into other things for fall. And a lot of the stuff in my house fits within this fall color anyways. So fall decor is, when it comes to the color scheme, I already have a lot of that. So I'll, all I have to do is take the stuff I already own and kind of mix it in with some more fall-ish type of stuff. Of course, not everything I have looks like fall, but a lot of the colors that I love are the colors that come out during fall time. I then found this little container. I believe this was a dollar. It has a lid on it, and this one says Crown Manor Hand Painted Stoneware Japan. So I believe things that say Japan are older. I'm not positive, but I'll have to look it up on Google Lens to see if it is valuable or just to get some information about it. And, oh, you know what? I had a third of those small glasses I didn't even realize. So, see that over there. Um, I also got this Native American statue. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I love Native American things. This was really affordable. It was only 25 cents, and this will fit in with um, fall decorating and the Victorian slash cottage look that I like in my house. I just thought that, I don't know if it's a boy or girl, but he or she <laughs> was really nice looking. I also found these candle holders, candle pedestals. It was a dollar for both of these. It's in this nice creamy white color. These will just look good to put some of my LED candles on. Um, and the colors will match well to blend in with all of the other things that I found. And then this is for my husband. This is a duck. It's just a little duck statue that he can put in his office to decorate with. But the puck colors are really pretty. And if he wasn't using this in his office, I would use it out <laughs> in some other places of the house for me. Okay, then I found this really heavy planter. It's kind of a unique style and I like the color on it. I believe I paid $3 for this and it just, it's really nice quality. I'm excited to use this probably for some ivies. I am not the best at keeping all of the plants alive. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better, but I can usually always keep ivies alive. So I'm like, most of the time I can just stick an ivy in something and it's going to keep going. I then found four of these large plates here with this really beautiful cottage design. These say Curacer and Ives, made in USA by Royal. Um, if you know anything about it, you can let me know in the comments. But I got four of these and they were a dollar each. I got these to put in this plate holder that I bought couple of thrift hauls ago to hang up on my wall. I've been looking for a set of four plates or just four plates that I liked that I could put in there and I seen those and I was like those are the ones that's what I'm gonna get and they feel like really nice quality. I then found this little trinket box. I could put some jewelry in here. I love the creamy white and the gold color so it just has the little lid and you can put stuff inside of there. This was really cheap, it was only 25 cents, and it's so tiny, but I love it. It has a little angel on it. I then found this bowl. I just really liked the colors. It's a little bit boho slash Aztec looking. Um, I don't know if I'll use it for food or if I will use it for decorating. I haven't decided yet, but it was really affordable as well. It was only a dollar. I just like the design on it. And then the last thing we found is this massive art piece. It was $10, but we were at this yard sale looking and my husband was like, hey, come look at this piece. And I told him, I was like, hang on a second. I was looking at something else. Well, while, while we were waiting, the guy who was selling this art piece, he was like, okay, I'll go to $5. And like, we, we didn't even try to ask him for less money. We were just, he was, Tommy, my husband was just waiting for me to come look at it. So I went over there and looked at it and it was really cool. It has this beautiful frame and we actually noticed that the painting is signed so my husband looked it up and we found one other piece online that was selling for around a thousand dollars so I don't know if this one is actually valuable or anything but it does look like it's hand painted and it's really beautiful so this is going to be like one of the main centerpieces in his office he was so excited to find it and I love it too especially the frame the frame is just so beautiful 
So $5 was quite a steal for that price, I feel like. The guy told us that he had got it from an auction for like a really cheap price years ago and then had just never used it. So he put it in his yard sale. So this is a score for us. Five bucks for a massive art piece, I'll take it. <laughs> But guys, that is all that I got from yard selling. I had so much fun picking it all up, and I had a lot of fun sharing it with you. I would love if you would comment down below and let me know what was your favorite piece that I found. And um, also, let me know if you enjoy yard sales as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is that you're watching this, God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Bye!